Hello everybody, Tahoe Yak Fisher here. I've got my trolling motor and my batteries for my kayak on the bench here and I've made some improvements uh, to them and I want to share with you guys what I've done. So um, starting with the batteries, here's the batteries that I have been using. They are 12 volt, 35 amp hour AGM deep cycle batteries. I, I run two of them in parallel just like this and uh, until now I have been using uh, these wires to jump the two batteries and uh, I had my local stereo store make me some heavy-duty ones at a 8 gauge wire um, the ring terminals have quarter inch holes in them so they work with my hardware um, should be much less resistance between the two batteries um, and much heavier duty. These were, I was worried they were going to break. So I wanted to improve that. There's what we've got. All right. So next I'm going to talk about some improvements that I've made to the, uh, trolling motor. And I'm going to show off a steering bracket idea that I have. So, uh, first I'm going to get rid of the batteries. So hang on. Okay guys, so if you've seen my trolling motor on my kayak, my hoist mechanism pulls on this loop of utility cord that is attached to the uh, motor shaft with this Yakima snap around bracket. And um, it pulls in this direction um, to hoist the motor out of the water. And I knew there was a better way to do that, but this bracket fit the shaft so well it just solved the, the need at the time. So I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, hang on one second. All right, so the Minn Kota shaft already had a hole in the top of the shaft. Um, I drilled the, the same hole in the same location out of this PVC cap that I made and used fishing line to pull this loop. It has a knot on it inside the tube here pulled it from the open end here into position here and we are now going to be hoisting the motor from right here. So I got rid of that bracket, but as long as I had to take this apart, I decided I wanted to uh, waterproof this opening where the red and black wire come out. And so I have here the same tube. The first time I attempted to drill the hole here for the cord, I missed. So this is the original cap that was on here and it's got a red and a black wire coming out of it just like this one here. And so I took a piece of this yellow foam, I cut a plug just like that, shoved it down in there and then filled that cup that I created with this seam grip, which is an outdoor sealant for fixing tents and fixing hiking boots and things like that. It worked great. I suppose you could probably use silicone or anything like that. Fill it up right there. The foam is going to keep it from just running into the shaft of the motor. Okay, so once that was dry, I just, the this cap here was an afterthought, a rubber cap that I just happened to have, and I cut a hole in the end and shoved it on there and glued it on and Next was protecting the wires. Here's the wires coming down to our plug that plugs into the hull of the kayak. Now, um, first I decided on this stuff. This is the, uh, the woven mesh um, loom that expands when you push on it. So you can expand it enough to get wires in it. So I, I shoved the, the red and the black wire into this stuff, and when I was waiting for this stuff to show up from Amazon, I kind of remembered that climbing webbing is tubular, and I went to my local climbing store, and I bought a couple of feet of this nylon webbing that is tubular, and you can, you get the idea there. I shoved the wires through that webbing to create uh, a very abrasion resistant, very durable covering for my wiring harness. So my, we got that filled with glue, holding the wires in place very nicely. We got it in this woven mesh loom and this climbing webbing. So I think that's a, about as durable as we are gonna get. 
Okay, now back to this Yakima snap around bracket. You can buy these from Yakima. A set of four of them is about uh, $20. But if you have an outdoor store near you that sells Yakima, there's a good chance they have at least one of these in a box that they will give you or sell you for five bucks or less. So we're going to put like a $5 value on a single one of these. Comes with quarter 20 hardware, but that hole is big enough for five sixteenths all day long. So all of the hardware we have here is five sixteenths. Um, I bought this at my local um, home improvement store. It was less than $8, $7.94 for this group of parts here. Now I have some Loctite out. There is one uh, place on either side that I'm gonna recommend Loctite, but I'm gonna show you how it goes together and then, uh, uh, then we'll go from there. Hang on. Okay, actually before I show you how it goes together, I wanna point out that this is a machine screw that I have cut the head off of to create a short piece of all thread. All of this stuff is, as I said, 5 sixteenths with a 18 pitch thread. Okay, now we're gonna put it together. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, this is how this goes together. We have the little piece of all thread I created here in the middle. Um, washers on either side. Thread couplers bolt couplers on either side, and then our eye bolts. Now these have jam nuts, so they're gonna stay where you put them. Here is where you need to put Loctite on both sides so that when you get this nice and tight around the shaft, it stays tight. Um, so now we're gonna put it on the uh, shaft of the Minn Kota so I can show you how it compares to this uh, Torquedo steering arm. Now this is what I'm using is a Torquedo steering arm. It doesn't really fit this shaft, it's shimmed up with a piece of plastic, um, and I don't think it's going to last forever. And I have been thinking about this. I'm not going to use this right away. I'm going to have it as a backup, but I just wanted to show you guys how it would work and how well it will work for a Minn Kota application. Okay, hang on. Okay, there, there it is installed on the shaft of the Minn Kota. Uh, we've got the Torquedo triangle right above it. Now, um, this, as you can see, fits very nicely. It's going to tighten down very nicely. Make sure you put Loctite here so it stays where you want it. Um, and then you can attach whatever steering cables you have right to this. This is going to be very durable. Um, and the nice thing about these snap-around brackets is exactly that. They flex enough to snap around this bar without taking anything apart. So you see I've I've put it on uh, in between my clamp and my motor. I didn't have to take anything apart. Okay, now I'm just going to line it up finally with the, the Torquedo steering triangle and show you what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Um, it's a little bit wider, but you could either shorten those uh, thread couplers or I bet that this would work with my system with zero modification. So there we have it installed just under my Torquedo steering triangle. Um, obviously, I would turn the, the eye bolts um, in the direction of the cable. Okay, you guys, so uh, there's our uh, maybe $12 or $13 steering arm. Very durable for a Minn Kota trolling motor. And that's all I have for you. Kind of a long video. Thanks very much for watching. Tight lines. Yak Fisher out.